Hey guys, Heather here on Instagram. You know me as the Feather Foodie, but we are back today with Tasty Tampa and we are checking out the Rusty Pelican at Rocky Point. We were invited by Chef Torres because he claims they have the ultimate surf and turf combo and we're here to check it out. The Rusty Pelican Board for Two features a whole fried snapper, some amazing sauces, steak on top of horseradish potatoes, and some lobster and shrimp risotto. It is sure to make your mouth water on the water. Let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Josue Torres. I'm the secretary chef at the Rusty Pelican in Tampa, Florida. We execute over here the best seafood. We specialize uh, seafood from the Gulf of Mexico, giving you a unique experience on the water. One of the top sellings that we have is the Rusty Pelican board. The board will give you a taste and experience of different areas of our menu. It will give you the chance to experiment and try and taste seafood from the Gulf, fresh lobster, fresh snapper, also the taste of the Angus beef, which is unique, and also give you a little taste of the garden salads that we make fresh from the table. Very important that we also have uh, unique items in our menu to accommodate and to uh, create memories to our vegans, uh, clientele, and vegetarian. If you haven't been in a Rusty Pelican in Tampa, we invite you in to experience our culinary expertise from our team. We look forward to seeing you soon. So today we are checking out the Rusty Pelican Board for Two. And even though it's only me, I wore my stretchy pants, so I think we're good to go. Luckily, you get to start every experience with their in-house made honey glazed cornbread, this delicious seasoned butter, and this spicy salt. Cannot wait to check this out. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of this seasoned butter, and we're gonna come over to this cornbread, and of course, we need to get a little bit of this seasoned salt. This cornbread makes the Southern girl in me very happy. Um, the perfection of the cakiness and the flaky crust mixed with the seasoned butter and the spicy salt that they have is absolutely incredible for the combination. So not to be shellfish, but of course I'm gonna eat all of these. I love oysters. There is never a time that they're on the menu that I don't get them. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna start off with some cocktail sauce. And a little bit of lemon. Here we go, down the hatch. It has the perfect saltiness from the water. I kind of feel like the ocean is in here while I'm eating this. Absolute deliciousness. When something like this is put in front of you, how do you even know where to start? So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the whole fried snapper first. It is amazing the way they deconstructed it. They fry the entire fish and then they still give you all of these amazing nuggets to go with it. And of course it's um, paired with their sauce, so I can't wait to take a bite of this. This fish is fried to perfection. Um, the, crust is that perfect combination of flour and saltiness. Um, the sauce has a bit of a, 
a jalapeno flavoring to it, so a little bit of spice to give you that extra heat that you want with seafood, and then it's tossed in a blackened seasoning. Absolutely incredible. All right, so next up, we are digging into this New York Strip steak. And it is on top of a bed of some creamy mashed potatoes. And back here, we have an arugula salad with their in-house made corn salsa. So definitely gonna get a bite of all of this. All right, so first up, these mashed potatoes are incredibly creamy, but they have a surprise to them, something I wasn't expecting. They have some horseradish in there. That kick is just an excellent compliment to this steak. The saltiness on the outside of this steak, um, just that char with the absolute perfection of the inside, incredible. And then you have these Cipollini onions at the front of this that give it the perfect touch of sweetness. And paired with this acidic salad, um, so the bed of arugula with corn salsa, it all pairs together as the perfect complement to this board. Now we have the piece de la resistance. And so we're gonna check out this risotto. I love risotto. And it comes with this half lobster tail, these huge golf shrimp, and everything is tossed in a garlic lemon butter. Let's take a bite. All right, so into the lobster we go. So this is pretty much the definition of decadence on a board. If I had one last meal, no doubt this is where I'm coming and I'm coming back to get this. This risotto not only has that perfect lobster and seafood fresh flavoring to it, but you can really taste the Asiago cheese and it gives you that extra nutty bite. So dessert is a must every single day for me, and this one, hands down, is maybe one of my top favorite desserts. You have this amazing date bread pudding paired with a toffee ice cream and a caramelized toffee sauce. And then they so lovingly sprinkled all of these walnuts on top. That bite, if you get a little bit of everything in one, is going to put you in another planet. This cake is so moist and paired with this caramelized sauce, it melts in your mouth. The ice cream already melting from the heat of the dessert. And then if you take a little piece of this crispy cracker that they've created, it has a little bit of saltiness to it. It gives it that extra bite to just take it over the top. Basically this meal is decadence on decadence on decadence. And then you look out the window and you have this ambiance. This can't be beat. So thank you to Chef Torres and his team, and of course the Rusty Pelican, because this dining experience was awesome. Between this board filled with almost a bite of everything on their menu, to the dessert, and then just looking out of the window, you have all of these water views. Hands down, definitely a must do in Tampa. And for me, it is too enthusiastic, thumbs up. Chef Torres did not disappoint. That was the best meal I have had in a long time. Don't forget to check out our other food reviews at Tasty Tampa on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you wanna follow my other adventures, you can find me on Instagram at The Feathered Foodie. Can't wait for the next bite.